how to make a 3D design, a very basic 3D design, and export it to be used in, say, like dimensions. I'm using 221, but you can, of course, do the same in 220, etc. And I'm going to be using custom shapes. Of course, you can use other designs as well, but in this, custom shapes, they're vector designs that you can make to any size. You can change them, tweak them in numerous ways and create loads of different designs from that and turn it into a 3D design. So I'm just going to remove that now and just go over to the custom shape tool. Now, this may be in a completely different position in your Photoshop because you can customize uh, Photoshop now. Select the custom shape tool, then go up here and select shape top left the shape option go with maybe gray if you're reasonable just any color of course but gray is fine then go over to the shapes now you might have a completely different set of custom shapes you can import loads of different shapes find lots on the web also there's legacy shapes that you can bring into photoshop as well so once you've selected the shape and this is the one that i'm going to go with just this very basic shape just apply it and you can apply it to obviously any size in different ways. And then of course you can also go and tweak it using maybe over here to curvature tool, etc. So you can tweak the points before you go and turn it into a 3D design. Now, menu, 3D. So with the 3D, just go over there and then go to, there's an option here, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Obviously that's been selected. You can see it selected there and select there. Now it takes a few seconds to process and then you get this design here, 3D design from it. And you can modify it in numerous ways. There's other panels here, there's properties. So window, there's properties there. Obviously there's 3D, etc. So you can tweak all the various settings here. I'm not gonna show that in this. I'm just gonna show you the export of the design and then use in the other application. Of course, it could be other applications. There's thousands of 3D apps. So. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to maybe go for one of these presets. You could use one of those. Nice selection of presets. But you can also obviously modify the extrusion depth. So you can make it slightly smaller, maybe like that. You can also deform it. A variety of different options here. And maybe change, add bevel. Up to you. But the basic thing is just to create shapes. I can do twists and turns. So you just can create some quite unusual shapes. Now you may not want to do that, so I'm just going to just go with this basic design. Then go to the 3D menu, and then go to Export 3D Layer. Comes up with option here, and I'm just going to go with a very standard format. You could, of course, there's numerous other ones, STL, but I'm going to go with Wavefront. I mainly use that because of things like Poser and those sort of things, so just going to, and you can Texture formats, you can say, well, I want Photoshop or original formats. I'm just going to go with the defaults. Go with defaults here and then click OK. And it takes a few seconds to process and then I'm going to position it probably to my desktop. It's just easier to find. And go to the desktop and you can see. It gives it a very unusual name, dot object. <laughs> now, I think there's something gone slightly wrong there in the naming convention. However, I'm just going to go for circular, as much as circular.obj file. And it's going to go to the desktop, so click save. And it's done it. So you've got the file now, the 3D design saved to another application. Now we're going to continue in another application. Right, we've got Photoshop here, but I want to edit it in Dimension. But I could, of course, use another 3D application, something like Blender, Maya. There's loads and loads of 3D applications available. So I'm just going to go to Dimension. Now this is part of Creative Cloud as well. You can see the design there. However, how to bring it in. Where I go, just going to get rid of this now. Close. Don't save. So go to a file and open and look for the obj file. That was the format I saved it. So circular.obj and you get the design here. Now it looks at the moment, there's nothing there. However, you can go see in the scene, you can see shape. 
a number of options here over here, tools to manipulate things. So I'm just going to go for the dolly tool because what I want to do is I'm going to zoom out. And with a bit of zooming out, eventually, obviously well away from the thing, now you can see the design. It's very odd, it goes all the way through, so you can't really see it initially. So you've got the design there. What you can do, you can manipulate it. So you've got the Orbit tool here. There's a variety of other tools as well, but I'm just going to go with the Orbit tool. Or you could use there. That's the Pan tool, so you can pan that around there. And like I say the Dolly tool there, and there's a variety of other tools there, Dolly Zoom tool, and also a Field of View tool. So, but you can also do other things. Obviously, it's not be really much different from Photoshop, to be honest, at this point. You look at it and think, well, you know what, it looks exactly the same. In fact, it's worse, because I can't change some of the things. However, you can change, because you've got here, models. You can add some models. But you can also add some materials to it. So you've got Adobe standard materials, but you've also got these. So if I go there, I'll put Adobe, let's go for the first one, Adobe, so I can add glass. Now, it's got a fair amount of features. You've got over here properties. So you've got obviously the scene, actions, not many actions there. Place graphic on model. Well, that's about it. You've got properties, however. You can change the color. You can maybe make it blue. And you can also add glows, metallic, and so on and so on. So you can tweak it to it. You can't actually modify the actual design, which is a pity. There's no, uh, you've got all the various directional lights. So you can add some lights to it, environment lights, images. So you can also add maybe a backdrop. So you can put it on the backdrop. Okay. And that's it. So there's no features in terms of being able to change it that much. But also you've got this substance materials, which is quite nice. So just go over there, you can option there for some help there. So I'm just gonna click that. But this one with glass, you can see there was a fairly limited range of features. Oh, you can obviously do with interactive there as well. If you wanna move that, it's another option, of course. So I'm just gonna go for this one. Or maybe brass, so brass. So add brass, and then you can see there's a whole range of different options here. There's a lot more features with these substance ones than with the standard features. So you can change the roughness, variation, you can also change station, localized, add some dirt to it, scratches. And to be fair, it doesn't look like hard changes at all. So actually I'll probably zoom a little. Bring that down a bit, maybe it's a bit closer to the screen. And you can see a variety of different settings here. And there's also other ones, technical parameters. So luminosity, contrast, you can change that. Doesn't luminosity make it darker, obviously, lighter, saturation. So you can tweak it in numerous ways, technical and miscellaneous. I don't know what's in there. Oh, resolution and random C. So you can randomize it as well. Which is quite nice. So you can there is a variety of features, and that's just for that one. But there's whole loads of other ones like here. Let's just drag that over. Spotted a sort of marble, yeah, marble look. And then you've got a variety of ones here. Not a huge amount, but roughness you can change, color, metallic. So you can make them more metallic there. Technical gain contrast, as well as again, you've got the same random as well. And again, you can change the color if you want, make it a red design there. So you can see, you can create a variety of different designs using this upgrade. Again, it's not going to be the world's greatest way of using your 3D model. There's a lot better applications in terms of tweaking the actual design. If you want to manipulate that, I would suggest other applications for it than this. But this is a really great application if you just want a basic, very basic manipulation of like adding materials, etc. And of course, you've got other settings here, image, resize, camera settings, select, object, and so on, so on. And you can, of course, render your design as well. So, hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop. Probably not adding many about uh, dimension. Not particularly a 3D uh, expert in any shape or form. 
uh, illustrator, Finty Photo, Finty Designer, Painter, and loads and loads of others. If you've got any questions, any comments, always appreciate it. It'd be great. A dislike or like. Thank you much.